Well, I never intended to make a habit out of this. I'll make it quick. Have you heard from Lulu? Not since she took off after Luke. Look how well that worked out for Lucky. Did he mention where he found his dad? He didn't. I didn't ask. Why don't you talk to Lucky instead of me? Well, I would, but uh, I think he's going through a lot right now, and I didn't want to add to it. You're concerned he'll have a bad reaction to Lulu taking off? Well, yeah, he's a, he's a little off lately. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. Let me suggest you have the fire department on hand when you tell him, because I don't want the haunted star getting burnt down before uh, the check clears. Actually, I was going to keep him out of it. I was going to look for Lulu on my own. By all means, I won't keep you. Do you have any idea where Luke went? Luke made an art form out of disappearing at will during our marriage. I was never very good at tracking him down. I'm just uh, a little worried. I can see that. I can't help you. You can't or won't. Come on, you know Luke better than anyone. I'm glad you think so. But Tracy, there's got to be a place that he would go. I have no idea where Luke went, and quite frankly, I don't give a damn. Even if this were to help Lulu? Look, I tried to get her to face the fact that her father was gone. Her response was to quit her job and to try to breathe new life into a failed casino. Then I put the haunted star up for sale. So she got a check from Nicholas to try to buy it. I can't help you. Great. Well, I'm not going to stop trying. The best thing for Lulu would be to confront her father and hear him say to her face he prefers drinking to fatherhood. Come on, that would destroy her. No, it would destroy her illusions, and it's her illusions that are crippling her. She needs to let her father go, and you need to stay out of the way. <laughs>